Hello and welcome to a look at semi-annual bond pricing with me, Andy Duncan, at Findlinger.com. Pricing an annual bond is quite straightforward. You might want to watch our video on pricing such a bond, detailed in our show notes, to find out how. However, to recap, with a simple three-year annual bond with a required annual interest rate of 20%, plus a known annual coupon rate of 10%, you just present value all the coupons and the final principal payment, then add up all these present values to get to a bond price. But what about a semi-annual bond? Let's redraw this annual bond, but this time as a semi-annual bond where we get coupon payments every six months. There are six coupons of $5 each instead of three coupons of $10, and the time periods are six months, 12 months, 18 months, 24 months, 30 months, and 36 months. So how are we going to price this horrible thing? Let's take a look at one of these bonds on finlingo.com. We can see that there is an horrific equation that we could actually use, but in a financial exam or in the real world, we're just not going to have any time to do any of this nonsense. Fortunately, however, there is an easier way. I'm going to use an Excel scratch pad to show you how. As with our annual bond pricing video, this mimics how you'd use a financial calculator. Do take a look at that video in the show notes if you want to see the basics, but here we'll just walk through pricing a semi-annual bond. First, pick out the key information from the question. Once you've got this, take a note of it. So we have a term, a payment term, which is semi-annual, a maturity of seven years, a required annual yield of 8.38%, an annual coupon rate of 9.75%. Finally, we have a principal value of $1,000. Now we can figure out the bond price. The first important thing is the payment term of the bond. This one's semi-annual, so that means there are two periods in the year. And yes, we will be having some rocket science lessons later. An annual bond has one period in the year and a quarterly bond has four periods in the year. But let's set this back to the semi-annual value to get to two periods in the year. Once we've got that, we can insert the maturity of the bond in years to figure out the total number of periods for the bond. We multiply this annual maturity by the period figure to calculate 14 payment periods for this bond. This will form the end figure that we'd input into a financial calculator. Next, we insert the required annual yield, then divide this by the period figure to get to an IY value that we'd insert into the calculator. Next up, the PMT value, the payment value. Here we need two inputs. First, the coupon rate, the annual coupon rate, and then the principal value. We multiply the annual coupon rate by the principal, then divide this figure by the period of two to get to the calculator's PMT value, which is the actual bond coupon payment on a semi-annual basis. Finally, the FV, the future value, is just the same as the overall principal value of the bond. So to recap, in this case, we multiply the annual maturity by two, then we divide the required annual interest rate by two, figure out what an annual coupon rate would be, then divide this by two, and finally, just input the principal figure as is. Once we've got all four of these values into a calculator, we can then compute PV to get to a bond price, which I've done by using Excel's built-in PV command. We can also reverse the negative sign to get to a positive value. Finally, go back to Finlingo and pick out the right answer. This question type on Finlingo does also cover quarterly bonds, which are sold in exactly the same way, but this time we use a period of four instead of a period of two. Let's clear the scratch pad, then we can look for one of these quarterly bond questions. Once we've found one, select the key information, then use exactly the same method to figure out the bond price. And once we have this bond price, we can now just select it on Finlingo. Periodic bonds, like semi-annual bonds and quarterly bonds and even monthly bonds, are a little bit trickier to solve for prices than annual bonds. But once you've got into the groove of dividing and multiplying all these different numbers, you should be able to do them almost as quickly. Get over now to finlingo.com to sign up and to practice pricing these periodic bonds under exam conditions. Finlingo. Speak finance fluently.